go and tell your family you do bare knuckle boxing, they think you're crazy, but when you say I'm a world champion in bare knuckle boxing, they start to understand. That's what's on the line. You're still crazy, you're just still good at Still crazy. <laughs> you're correct, sir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this bare knuckle bout is scheduled for seven two minute rounds brought to you by Pink Cherries and it is for the Police Gazette Diamond World Super Middleweight Championship and the BYB Women's Super Middleweight Championship of the World. Interesting first. Hiding out of the blue corner. She stands five feet six inches tall. She weighed in at 150.9 pounds. She holds an undefeated bare knuckle record of two wins, zero losses. And she fights out of Boca Raton, Florida by way of Lansing, Michigan, USA, Miranda. She Hulk Barber. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She stands five feet, six inches tall. She weighed in at 150.4 pounds. She holds an undefeated bare knuckle record of one win, zero losses. And she fights out of Omaha, Nebraska, USA. She is the number one head buster, Josette Cotton. Our referee in charge, Wayne Spinola. Step back, I'll get you guys started. Fight scheduled for seven two minute rounds. Who will leave the victor in this battle for the women's super welterweight championship inside the Trigon? Here we go. Miranda Barber in the purple trunks, black, pink, and yellow for Josette Cotton. Ooh. Yep. Josette, that first right hand was intentionally lazy, telling a lie. Then the second one was this deep, penetrating shot. Josette's had been a fighter all my life growing up, coming from where I am from. You have to know how to protect yourself. Standing in front of her is a very determined woman who feels like this sport in itself. And this is a woman who had ISKA, four-time kickboxing champion, Robin. This is the one that she was born to do. Yeah, when you take away those feet, and now it's down to less weapons. It's so much more specialized. You know, two, two knuckles or two fists is so much more specialized than kickboxing, but she's taken to it really well. And Jose keeps switching up stances. It's been pretty effective so far. Yeah, and then Barber uh, switched stance to, to kind of put her, her right arm forward and through a left. She's done it once as well. Kickboxers, you find, will be able to be more comfortable. They've spent more time in both directions. Oh, Barber's, oh, big Barber's gotta be careful there, yeah. turning her head like that. Yeah, that I don't know what that was about. The moment you get hit, sometimes you just sort of intuitively spin away, but it is the wrong choice. And the, and the ref will not let you do that too many times. Josette Cotton, Miranda Barber, round number one. Nice jab by Miranda Barber. She's gotta be more consistent with that. This Cotton is forcing her way inside. Josette slips and fires a few. Tries to end strong. Good start to this championship fight. Cotton with a bit of swelling on the forehead. Paulie, you said you liked what Cotton did. She had a bit of aggression, especially there at the end of the round. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought she was uh, searching for the action. She was, uh, I thought she controlled the round pretty good. I mean, Barbara had a couple of good shots she landed, uh, and the forehead of Cotton is telling you that because there's a bit of swelling on the forehead of, of Cotton. But overall, I thought, uh, uh, I thought Cotton uh, forced the action through combinations like that. They didn't all land, but she put Barbara, Barbara in on some uncomfortable positions, and Barbara just didn't initiate enough to feel, make me feel like she controlled the round. 
when Josette is making Barbara miss or or even taking a jab off the forehead, she's coming forward with two, with two three, four, yeah, five, yeah. and just overwhelming her. Good point. While when Barbara has Josette missing, there's not a lot coming back. Good point, Robin. She's having fun. She, she's in it now. Those moments before a fight are so weird, but then when you're in it, you're in it. You know yeah, what you're doing. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know how to do this, right? It's actually less nerve-wracking once you're in it. Yeah. Round two. Miranda Barber debuted at BYB9. Defeated Skylar Burns just about a minute into round number one by TKO. Earned a split decision victory at BYB10 in Biloxi. Coming off a professional boxing matchup in which she won back in July. Josette Cotton looking to turn up the aggression. Miranda Barber happy to match it. Yeah, Josette, you see there's some real, like, prime philosophy she has. Like, when she throws, she throws many. And when she's going forward, she continues to go forward and continues throwing. Josette fought Aaron Towhill at BYB6 in July of 2021. She has had two boxing bouts here in 2022. And as Big Mo pointed out, we had the first women's professional bare knuckle battle earlier. This is the first female title fight in the UK between Josette Cotton and Miranda Barber. Ooh. Miranda has her hands open a lot and parry, trying to parry a lot and see if Josette uses that against her. Tom talked about Josette's hands being down. It's hard to see them. It's hard to see them. They come up, you know, from different trajectories, and they, uh, there are advantages to having the hands down, but there's risks, too. Yeah, she's gotten comfortable fighting like that. She's been fighting like that for a long time. Miranda switching that stance. Final seconds of these two-minute rounds. Oh, guys, combination. Yeah, by really Jessica good Cotton. combination. That that's was a really, heavy body shot, Paulie. And that's been the difference there with uh, Cotton and, and Barbara. Barbara lands some pretty good individual shots, but it's Cotton who's throwing combinations. Waves though, of offense. Yeah, and even if they don't all land, it's just putting Barbara in, in uh, predicaments. Yeah. Well, yeah, when you're defending, you're not punching, right? So yeah. here she's got her defending or moving away there. Barbara tried to throw the right hand back against the aggression. And instead walked into it, uh, took a right hand to the chin. Mm -hmm. But super determined. Like, she's not at all discouraged by any of that. Not at all. Sometimes when people are watching at home, they're like, oh, you gotta move forward. But it is incredibly discouraging to keep pushing forward through the chaos and through the, the waves of offense that are coming. But she's having no problem with it so far. Schedule for seven. This is round number three. Josette Cotton. Black, pink, and yellow trunks. Miranda Barber in the purple. Very fancy purple. Bedazzled. A little bit trunks. of tiger print on the, yeah, uh, yeah. On the belt. Approved. She is definitely comfortable switching that southpaw stance. Yeah. Miranda's got a pretty good jab. She's got to follow yeah. up with other stuff. It's the other stuff that hasn't really landed. It's, and the other stuff is actually what has landed for Josette. Yes. Yeah, Josette jo loves to be in a dogfight. There's no question about it. But Miranda is a willing dance yeah. partner, Robin. Yeah, very much so. Miranda using a few little head feints, but not really drawing anything out with them. Yeah, yeah, they're not working. We talked about it oh. earlier, like your skill at, con at trying to mystify somebody with a feint goes against their skill at being able to read if it's real or not. And, it's, and in Josette's case, she's not biting on them. Josette trying to bully Miranda in there, obviously, with that push. Wayne Spinola warning her. The fight continues. A good body shot there by Josette Cotton. Ooh. Oh, 
Just right from, hand landed right on the cheekbone yeah. of Josette Cotton. And that's what Miranda has to do. Miranda Barber has to get let her hands go a little bit more. And, then, and that was an example of why she has to do that. When she was able to do that there, went to some good shots, and especially that right hand. And Josette does put her head down a little. See when she's coming in behind those. So if Barber slips to the side and gets some knuckles coming from beneath. There. Last night, the quote, Clarissa Shields, the pride of Flint, Michigan, with a huge victory over Savannah Marshall. Congratulations to the two-time Olympic gold medalist, Miranda Barber, born in Lansing, Michigan. See if she can represent, as an Ohio kid would say, that state up north. That's, <laughs> well, so far, that state up north uh, not having as much success as the state, the, the representative from last night. But Barbara did some good things in that past round. But again, I think she has to work more consistently. I wouldn't say Barbara's being outclassed here, no. but I, I think it's just Cotton is doing more every round. Yeah. Yeah, and what's working for her is when she's throwing a fourth and a fifth and a sixth punch. So, and she hasn't been taught to not do that at all, so she's going to keep going back yeah, to that. And that's what it is. Those combinations are putting Barbara out of position, and then she's getting caught on the tail end of them. Joseph, nine and two during her professional MMA days. And one of her losses came at the hands of the two-time Olympic gold medalist in judo, Kayla Harrison. Kayla is a very legit martial that artist. A, that is a true modern day yeah. beast of a fighter. Just a free fighter. Time for that Cyborg Nunez rematch and then Kayla can get in the mix. But that that's enough. Yeah. That's a that's a podcast, Rob. <laughs> or or two. Yep. Right now it's all about Jose Cotton and Miranda Barber. Again, the output is three, four, five to one. Yes. Between uh, Cotton and, and Barber. And Josette's just flowing through them. Like the, you know, the, the right hand leads to the left hand and the left hand leads to the right hand. I'll tell you, for skill wise, they're, they're pretty evenly matched. Yeah. It just seems like Cotton just wants to fight more. Yeah, she's pushing a little, redlining yeah. it a little harder. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Just, yep. Just, make, just giving it a bit more effort, throwing more punches, initiating a bit more. Is, but the difference has been that, that, that mental edge. Started boxing at age 18. She's 34 years old. She said, I've been in the gym for a decade and a half with the guys, working my hands against some of the toughest people around. Or she's looking for a little fancy shot there from the southpaw stance. Josette not taking it. When Miranda goes and watches this fight back, she'll look and go, oh man, there were so many chances I could have landed my uppercut. Yeah. You know? But in, in the moments, you're, you're trying to interpret all of the information. You can't see everything. Yeah, and I'll tell you something else you could do when, when Josette's putting her head down like that is put her hand on the back of it yep. to hold her in place for the uppercut. You know, the, that way you make it more effective to even land the uppercut. This is our co-main event for the title. Main event still to come, Schaefer and Gata for the BYB Welterweight Championship. I'll tell you, Cotton has landed some pretty good body shots this she, fight yeah. as well. She's smart too. She knows that if you win those last 30 seconds in a two minute fight too, if the judges are uncertain, you're gonna take that one. And yeah. so each time in the last 20, 30 seconds, she's come on harder. She ups the pace. Yeah, look at the difference in the output. You're gonna see there is a, a clinch on the inside. It's not a lot going on there. Then you're gonna notice. Yes, yeah, a, lot of, a lot of the output there by Cotton. She's always responding. Barbara missed the one over, or Barbara missed the one overhand, and then Cotton answered with with six back. And that's how you're, you're going to win this fight. If you're going to win this fight, it's yep. uh, yeah, when it's you're going to throw six to one. Yeah, and it's just conscious decision making. Jose Cotton said of Miranda Barber, "I think we have a similar mindset. Get in there and get it done. She is a tough woman, but I am just." Plain mean. <laughs> this title fight continues. Round number five. A little more urgency yeah. from She Hulk here at the start of this round. Yeah, she came out letting her hands go the way she needs to. And, and moving her feet behind them now. Mm -hmm. Moving her feet. So so when she throws, if you move away, she chasing. She's chasing now. 
and I, I, I got the feeling I couldn't hear, but I got the feeling her corner was saying, we, we're down, I think we're yeah. going to have to, you know, win everything or finish this fight. And I think yeah. they're pretty accurate yeah. in stating that to their yeah. fighter, Robin. She's having a good fight. It's just, it's she's not winning the minutes. Yeah. She got a good start to the round, but now she's kind of laid off the gas pedal again after the initial onslaught of the first 10 seconds. And if Moran's getting one or two in, much to your guys' points, then Josette answers with four or five. Yeah. I'm not a mathematician, but you're going to win fights like that. Yeah, yeah, but you come up with some crazy words and phrases. Robin, right? <laughs> Shocks me that, that, that you don't know anything about math. Slight hematoma on that forehead yeah. of, yeah. of Jose Cotton. They see the hematoma there. Yeah. A little bit smaller. Yeah. So little you smaller say you're not a mathematician, and then I say you know nothing about yeah, math. I said that, that wasn't yeah. nice. I no, apologize. No, no, no. I apologize. I also, I said mathematician. Yes, you did. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. But then you said some really nice things before I called this. Well, and I'll, yeah. I'll say more now, because now I feel bad. Mm. <laughs> oh. so. See, that, that's, that's the, the bullying aspect, yeah. in, in a positive way, though. Big sistering her. That's, that's the quote. Yeah. She is a tough woman, yeah. but I'm just playing me. Yeah. yeah, she's big sistering her a little bit. Yep. 34-year-old against 28-year-old. 10 seconds away from the championship oh. round. Nice counter left yes. hand there by Jose Cotton. Walked her right Good into timing it. shot. Yeah. Ooh. Good discipline there for Josette as well. She didn't throw that second punch. That could have been another one behind the head that could have cost her a point. Sammy going to work on that hematoma. I hope we see that, that straight left hand. She just walked her right into it. That was one of the nicest punches of the fight. Yeah, yeah, very well timed shot. There she was looking for it there. Yeah, that was more of a jab, and that yeah. was very good. good combination there as well. Again, it's just nothing in particular is landing, but it's just her bossing yeah. the action. We didn't get a look at the left hand, but the left hand was actually the best shot of the round. Championship rounds. Cotton Barber, our co-main event of the evening. It looks like Sammy's getting that hematoma spread around really good with that. He with does that a great cold. job. Yeah, he does. He does a great yeah. job. That end swell, icy cold, and put a little pressure on, smooth around all the liquids, biological liquids. See, there you go again. <laughs> with your wordsmithing. I, I said that for you. <laughs> Sixth round, title fight, a seven round matchup as our main event will be with the welterweight belt on the line. Can't just see things in different ways, you never really know, but you certainly feel like Josette has won not only- the Oh, good Ooh, uppercut there really by Barbara. Nice. nice uppercut by Barbara. Well we time shot. And Josette's mean mugging her while she's doing her damage. Yeah. We that talked one. about that earlier, that uppercut's been there. Yep. Just Josette. I was One thing is for sure, Josette's in really good physical condition yeah. in yeah, this fight. I'll tell you, the that was she's that, kept Paulie's That great. was the best punch Barbara landed all fight, and, and Josette took it well yeah. and then went out on the attack right away. Yeah, and erased it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, you're, Goldie, you're right. She's in great shape because she's just putting it on and putting it on. Yes. Tried sprinting for two minutes straight. You know, just, it's very difficult no matter what shape you're in. When you, when you redline yourself, you can't do it for that long no matter the no matter the condition. And part of that is that she's kept active throughout this calendar year with those two boxing yes. bouts and now a title fight here in London. And again, keep it also simple. A lot of these combinations are mostly, mostly straight punches, which are the easiest punches to throw and also the ones that burn the least energy. So a lot of those combinations just repeated bang, 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 just straight shots. Yeah. You, know, you see it again. Yeah, so you're right. it's condition and strategy and choices and punch selection all working together. And talent and experience. Yes. Yep. Knowledge. I don't know. It's like Barbara hits you and expects you to go down or something. Yeah. It's like, I don't, I don't know. She's, she, she's got no follow-up plan. She takes pictures after she throws her punches instead of following up. 
And it's interesting that Josette kind of assessed that in her before, because yeah. this is exactly the right way to, to yeah. attack somebody like that. If they kind of watch their last punch, then yeah, hit them with you, five. Yep, yeah, and that's yeah. exactly what's been happening. That's yeah. been one of the keys to success that Josette has had, is even when she's taking a shot, she comes right back yeah. with a big combination, and she just catches Barbara just watching her work. See some of that action from that round. Again, the, the follow-up combination. See, nothing in particular throwing. Good, actually, good hook there by Barbara. But again, follow-ups by, by Josette Cotton. Yep. Just pouring it on. Just a hurricane yeah. of it. A hurricane of knuckles. Yep. With two minutes remaining, I think it is very safe to say, oh, you never know with the judges, safe to say that Miranda needs to stop yes. Josette Cotton. Yes. Here. Yeah. And to do that, you got to land a clean shot. You got to yeah. get to a clean shot. It's very difficult to do. Yeah, and you've got, you've got to also be willing to initiate and be first and be last here. She's, she's got to she's got to be both active. She doesn't punch hard enough to just get her out one shot. So you got to put a lot of combinations together here. Seventh and final round for the inaugural BYB Women's Super Welterweight Championship. Mike Goldberg, the magic man, the two-time world champion, Pauli Malinaji, Robin Black, Tom Ross, Claudia Trejos. This is our co-main event for a belt. Main event, still to come. Belt on the line, and what a set of fights we have had here in London. Look, look at the eyes of Cotton. Yeah. Look at the eyes of Cotton. Yeah. She just looks at the midsection. She's aiming strictly midsection. Look, look. Yep. Yeah, just hit the sternum. You know. And, and she you, looks down yeah. and then throws up. Yeah, yeah. No, and look, if you, again, aiming strictly midsection, because what happens, if you're able to touch the midsection, you start to hone in the distance, and then you can bring the punches up to the head. It's hard to miss the midsection. It's easier to hit miss the head, because they can move. Yeah. And she's doing A exactly. good friend and colleague and the host of Talk Tough with Brandon Slater, Aaron Tohill, who had a great professional boxing career. She didn't like the split decision lost to Josette Cotton back in July of 2021. But Josa Cotton did not put on a pace, Polly, in that fight like she's putting on tonight. Yeah, yeah, and, and she's she's commanded the, the pace of the fight, and that's been the that's been the deciding factor in this fight. Because I think on, on a level of skill, these two are not that different, I wouldn't say. But yeah. but it's been the determination, and just Josa Cotton wanted to be champion tonight. Yeah, she, yep. it, it meant more to her than it did to Barbara, and she's that's what she fought like. And she's attacking with intention. Everything is with intention here. Her yeah, intent is to overwhelm you. And she's beating the fight out of Barbara. You see Barbara's about 20 seconds ago yeah. turn her back for the second time in the fight. She's not react she's not responding to the big combination there of Josette Cotton. She's gotta know at this point she needs a knockout. And she's fatigued. And I'll tell you, one of the reasons she may be fatigued is all the body work Jose Cotton did. Yeah. yeah. Mean is going to trump tough here in this title fight, which goes the distance. Josette Cotton and Miranda Barber. If we're right and Josette Cotton won it, she literally won it with hard work. You know, just yep. intention and hard work. She she came in here to work, show up, and put in the put in eight hours or ten hours or twelve hours at the site and do the work. If we're not right, these judges got to get another job. <laughs> Polly don't stand for that. And then you could show this clip from any round. And it was, you know, a, a chaotic kind of, uh, uh, a, a bit untidy at times, but just intense. One would throw two, and one would throw five, and uh, and that was the difference. You see in the top corner of the box there, they're appreciating each other. And Barbara did fight hard, and she didn't become discouraged, but she couldn't push with the intensity and and with the duration to keep putting waves on her. Judges are rendering their decision. Ladies and gentlemen, 
at the end of seven full championship rounds, we go to the judge's scorecard for the official decision. Judge Page scores at 70 to 63, while Judge Simmons scores at 69 to 64, and Judge White scores at 70 to 63, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, and the new Police Gazette Diamond World Super Welterweight Champion, and the BYB Women's Super Welterweight Champion of the World, the number one headbuster, Josette Carter! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by our winner and new champion, Josette Cotton. Josette, first of all, look at all this hardware that you got on here now. You got medals, you got belts, you came across the pond, and you were in a war. It went all rounds. How does it feel? I'm blessed. I want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ, who's my Savior. Now, as you progress through your career, undefeated, now a champion, are you looking to get back in the Trigon pretty quick and defend these belts? These are my belts. Whenever I got to defend them, when and where, these are my belts, and I'm never, ever giving them up until I'm passing them down because I'm too old to fight. Now, coming from Omaha in America, you came across the pond. How does it feel to fight and win the first ever women's bare knuckle championship in the United Kingdom? I'm blessed. I want to thank BYB for having me, Mike. Mel, I love y'all. The, it, without y'all, I wouldn't have these. So I just want to thank the BYB team and everybody over there, Omaha, Nebraska. I told y'all I was going to do this. I told y'all. And I'm bringing them back home, baby, both of them. So, Josette, obviously you probably have some fans watching on the stadium app, some friends and family here. Anything you want to say to your support staff? Sita, to all the women out there in Omaha, Nebraska, y'all know I wouldn't have this name without y'all. For the OGs, the number one headbusters, y'all did it. The number one headbusters is in history. Since 1884, y'all, women haven't done it, and I did it from Omaha, Nebraska. Headbusters, we did it. I want to thank my sponsors, Twin J. I want to thank uh, uh, Jay Kirk's painting. I want to thank uh, all my sponsors. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, everybody, Kagan and Water, uh, Jay Kirk's painting, um, um, 97, uh, the Five the Boss. I want to thank... Everybody, if I forgot y'all, y'all know I love y'all. I'm coming home with it. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for your new champion, Josette Cotton.